Cause if love and peace you treasure, then you'll hear me when I say, oh, that love is in me, of love today. So don't delay, send your sin right away. Hey y'all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I had to start this conversation with that song because um, I got to talk about this. And um, I think it's very important for uh, us to, you know... Sometimes when it seems like all you can do is get, um, I guess, acknowledgement and things like that, or, you know, even validation when you're arguing and fussing with somebody, sometimes you have to just wait and remember, you're only operating off of love and fear. I, I keep saying it, love or fear. And I want to bring this conversation in love as an elder. I think it's, um, it's it's very important that I do this, and this is concerning um, the article that I read in in the New York Times uh, regarding ADOS and Tariq Nasheed now in this what is it the FBA Foundational Black Americans, um. And I got to be honest, I really, really have to address it. I can't let it go. I really can't. So I read the New York Times article, and I also heard the response from uh, Antonio Moore. When, and when he says we coming, I, I think he means it, and, and I don't want to speak for him, but in my spirit, it seems that he's, he's saying it in a way that he means here we come but we're, we're this is something that that was long overdue you had in cobra you had hr 40 sitting there for 30 years nobody has picked up momentum so this is the right time and the right place so i know in my heart that the ancestors are behind this i've been around long enough to know now when the spirit move on something now, some people, you know, can count that out as hocus pocus if you want to, but I have to address the spirit of myself because I realize that that's what we are. A lot of y'all ain't in touch with that yet. You think you, 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 you're narcissistic to the point where you think that we are this that you see. And I contend that I go for the spirit first. And the spirit and the energy that comes around this ADOS um, is a spirit that is moving all across these United States of America. Not just because it sounds good, but because this is really, uh, I guess since 2000, at least 16 for myself, you know, um, I've kind of come to see the political aspect of what ADOS was doing. Uh, and I wasn't even a big fan of Effect Carnell's because I felt that she get on baby boomers too much. And I'm a boomer. You know, how be it the last year, um, but I'm a boom, boomer. You know, I'm with Eddie Murphy and Michael Jackson and Prince. We the, we the last of the baby boomers, right? So when you talk about us, even though we're really going into that next generation, we don't like, I don't like personally like to hear that because I'm like hell. But there's some aspects to that that I think about that is true. Because if most of the people who were before me had handled their business correctly or something they they had something to leave their kids 
Now, whether, you know, they did that because they went to Potawatomi or someplace and squandered all of their home, their homes or their birth right out. Yeah, that was the generation before me. So I had to really come into to, to a truth about that because um, there was some truth to that. I, you know, I started looking. But my point is, we don't all have to agree on certain things. But I tried to get my ego out of everything because I know that's the only way that, um, you know, and, and my basic heart is noble. So when I look at what's going on, I read this article. So if y'all want to know where I'm going, and some of y'all who didn't read it, I'm going to kind of share a little bit with y'all, okay? It says, in Hollywood, Harriet Tubman is played in a new movie by a black British woman, much to the annoyance of some black Americans. On the United States census, an ultra-wealthy wealthy Nigerian immigrant and a struggling African-American woman from the South are expected to check the same box. When many American universities tout their diversity numbers, black students who were born in the Bronx and the Bahamas are counted as the same. A spirited debate is playing out in, the black, in black communities across America over the degree to which identity ought to be defined by African heritage or whether ancestral links to slavery are what should count most of all. Tensions between black Americans who descended from slavery and black immigrants from Africa and Caribbean are not new, but a group of online agitators is trying to turn those disagreements into a political movement. Okay, now um, as I was reading, as I was reading the article, um, it says, um, you know, I, I had to really, really think, and I want y'all to put who you like, what personality you like, because this is what it's all about. There is no way in the world, if you're really going by political, the only thing you're going to change, the only way you change stuff is you change the laws, or you change certain things, or you have a real revolution. And the real revolution is bloody, and it's all in old state. And we not, I don't think we, either we going that route all the way, ain't no half-stepping, there's no peaceful revolution, there's none of that. that. That's not what it is. Either you going all in, and probably be slaughtered, and that's better than, like the child said, it's better than living like this. Or you're going to try to do like the people before us, move this through a, um, the laws, like the civil rights uh, laws, or never mind who tried to latch on to it and all that, because you know that's something that the outer community always does. They always latching in. So affirmative action might have been started in in its initial conception for us, but we know white men and now white transsexuals, transsexuals, and white women are the leading uh, re recipients of that. So we understand that, but that cannot negate us from trying to change these laws so it says um a spirited debate is playing out in black communities across america over the degree to which identity ought to be defined african heritage or whether ancestral links to slavery are what should count most of all okay tensions um i'm sorry they want colleges employers and federal government to prioritize black americans whose ancestors toiled in bondage, and they argue that affirmative action policies originally designed to help the descendants of slavery in America have largely been used to benefit other groups. You cannot argue with that fact. I won't argue with that fact. In Cobra can't argue with that fact. Um, and if they do, it's just for being at a butt, for being adversarial for adversarial sake. Okay, like I said, I know about in Cobra. Um, 20, 25 years, well, I'm not even going to get into that. I know in Cobra was a member um, and will consider myself a, 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 a person that is progressive enough to want to join or be a part of any organization that is looking for the upliftment of my people. So at one time in my life, I belonged to a lot of organizations. Some of them I didn't want to, like churches or uh, religious 
organization and some of them because I was, it was an involvement process. But I bear witness, I've been around long enough to see who is moving in a way that I think is beneficial to the people. One thing I keep hearing in my mind in one sense, and I know that it might be a mystical uh, paper, is that Willie Lynch, and when Willie Lynch says they'll be perpetually miserable, Okay, I'll be right back. 